In my previous video, I showed you how to automatically connect a line to multiple dots in your composition. So if I select this dot and duplicate it, notice it automatically finds it, connects to it. So I can duplicate this multiple times. I can move on this. So this create a perfect line graph. So that's what I showed you how to set up in my previous video. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you give it a try. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring in a simple text layer and how to link it up to each dot to where when you select the text layer and when you duplicate it, it will automatically go to the next dot and so on. So you can do this multiple times. But not only that, this text layer is responsive, which means that you can move on these points and the value will automatically update itself. And you can set this up in no time. I want to remind you that you can download this free project by going to the description of this video. So click on the link, download it, and then follow along. So the first thing I want to do is go into this line graph tutorial composition. I'm going to select the type tool and I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to type zero for right now. We're going to change the name of it to something like value one and I'm going to move it down right underneath our controls layer and I'm also going to parent it to controls. Then I'm going to press A to reveal the anchor point and I'm going to adjust it on the Y right here to create a little spacing. So 50 pixels is what I'm going to stay with. So as you can see, it gives me nice little spacing here. So next, I want to basically move this to my first point, but I want to be able to do this with the code and not with the mouse. So I'm going to select value one, press P to reveal the position property right here. What I want to do, I want to drive this value with a code. So to do that, just press alt click on a stopwatch. And as you can see, it's lit up in red, which means now this code is driving this property. So in here, we're going to create a variable and we're going to call it something like dot layer name. And here's what I want to do. So basically, I want to take the name of my current layer. So I'm going to say this layer and we're going to say name. And then I want to replace the value with dot. So to do that, I'm going to use a replace method and we're going to say replace value. Let's replace it with dot. So that's exactly what this new variable is going to mean. It's basically going to take this name and then change it to dot one. This comes in very handy because now I can write a path to dot one and it's pretty responsive. So watch this. So I'm going to say this comp and layer. Which layer do we want? We want the dot layer that we just created. And then we want the transform property and we want the position and we want the value. So now when I click away, it will automatically snap to my point one here because value one automatically translates to dot one and it finds that one right here. So if I were to select this and duplicate this, notice now it changed to value two and that changes to dot two and it finds dot two and that's how it does it. So you can do it multiple times and it's super responsive, but we're not done yet because we wanna also adjust the value. So I'm gonna select this code we just wrote and next I'm gonna go to the source text property right here, select this, hit S twice to solo it, alt click on a stopwatch to create an expression for this and we're going to paste our code. Now, here's the problem. As you can see, we have a two dimensional code here. So we have X and the Y, but I want to hold on to the Y. I want to get rid of all these decimals and I also want to get rid of the minus right here. So to do that, we're just going to add on to our value here. So I'm going to say, hey, we want the index one, not the zero. So that's index zero. We want index one. So in the square brackets, I'm going to say one. And then not only that, I also want to get rid of all of these decimals. So I'm going to say two fixed, which is the method that's going to take care of that. And we're not done yet. Then we're going to take that value and multiply it by negative one, which will get rid of negative. So when I do that, notice it will give me 77 without any negatives, without any decimals, which is exactly what I want. So now I can select this layer and press control D. Notice I'll go to the next one. And so now if I adjust these points, notice it will automatically adjust the value. And that's exactly how to do it.